Hello lovers, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today our journey takes us from Key West with a stop overnight in Miami, then to Fort Lauderdale. There's a lot packed into this episode from some key lime pie, get it, keys, key lime, to some creeper stalking me in a Walmart parking lot, the infamous South Beach, which I get to explore a little bit, and what happens in Fort Lauderdale. So let's jump right in. Okay, so if you've been following my journey, you'll know that in my last video, I was basking in the miracle of me being able to stay the night in Key West. So what happened? Did I get to stay the night? Or did I get woken up in the middle of the night and told to move? Well, I have a combination of both of those things. I did get to stay the night. I did get woken up, but I wasn't asked to move. Basically, I was woken up because there was a little posse of roosters just roaming around the parking lot, cock-a-doodle-doing all night. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna like put my earbuds in and just go to sleep. So I went to sleep. I was listening to like a meditation that went off at a certain point in the middle of the night. And then at like 5 a.m., this dang rooster hops on there, latches on with his feet, and was like on Old McDonald's farm and was just like, <laughs> he was going at it. I think his mission in life was to wake me up that early in the morning. So I was like, bruh. I knew that I had to get the day going because there was a lot more that I needed to do in that day. So when I was leaving, I decided that since Shark Key was the most beautiful water, I wanted to stop along the way and check it out. So I stopped and the water wasn't as blue, but it was still very pretty. There's like a little pathway that you can walk down and it was very lovely. So I stopped and took some pictures and then I was like, okay, well, not to be like ungrateful or like a travel snob, but also, you know, I've seen the keys, I've seen the water, it's beautiful. And there's like lots more that I need to get done. So I was like, all right, let's, let's get going. Basically I kept driving. And one of the things that I was told that I should try when I was in the keys was conch fritters. Now, when I was in Key West in Mallory Square, they had a little cart that sold conch fritters. But at that point I had already eaten and I wasn't hungry and it was like $5 for like a little bag. And then when I was driving back, I was looking at places that served conch fritters and all these places were like 10 to $14. It's supposed to be like an appetizer, but they were charging like full entree prices. And I was like, I'm not paying for something that I don't even know if I like and just to say that I tried it. So I was like, all right, well, what's the other things on my list that I wanted to try? So one of the things was key lime pie, which I really love. And there's several different spots that are recommended, but one of the spots is the Blonde Giraffe Key Lime Pie Factory. And it was so cute. It was like everything was decorated all like tropical and green and everything. So I go in, they have everything you can think of key lime, candy, cookies, taffy, everything that you can think of key lime. And then of course their pies. With the pies, they had different ones, like one with meringue, one without meringue, one with whipped cream. So I just got the traditional one that was like the meringue. But that hoe was like $6.75. I'm like, bruh, y'all crazy. And $6.75 for one slice. It wasn't even like a gigantic slice. I mean, it was a good, decent size, but I'm like, I won't pay like $12 for conch fritters, but I'll pay almost seven for a slice of pie. All right, I'm already here. It's an experience. So she put it in a little container for me. And then she was like, if you want to go out back, we have tables and we have a garden. I was like, ooh, that sounds great. So I went back there and it was so lovely. They had all these like little fences with lockets like you see in Paris that had like little writing on the little locket lockers. It was so sweet. And then there was like this real Zen environment in the back and they even had Wi-Fi. So if you wanted to sit back there and just chill on your phone or just sit there and they had like nice little music playing so I did I sat there and I took a couple bites of pie and just kind of relaxed and then it was just nice so I 
finished up with my little zen time and as i'm walking to the car i see an iguana the weirdest thing about that is that a couple days before that my mom called and she was like oh did you hear the news and i was like you know i don't watch the news so no she's like iguanas are falling out of trees in miami <laughs> i was like i'm sorry what she's like yeah it's so cold in miami that the iguanas like little claw hands can't hold on so they've been falling out of trees so she's like be careful <laughs> what that's crazy so when i saw this iguana i was like did he just fall out of a tree or did he just jump out of the bush luckily an iguana didn't fall on top of my car while i was sleeping because that would be scary to hear just like a big thump in the middle of the night but that did not happen so anyways i saw my iguana and then i got back on the road and then i just had like such a lovely drive to miami it was kind of dark and gloomy it started to rain a little bit and it's just very relaxing and very nice definitely a place that i would go back to again when i have more time and maybe a hotel as of this recording we're at 940 subscribers are you one of them if not hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you'll know every time i upload a new video and throw a like on it so by the time i got into miami it was dark it was super raining and so I didn't have much time to do anything else. But since I had been in Miami a few days earlier, I already knew the nice area to park in. So I went right back to that same area, parked there, and it was a very nice sleep. All right, so the next morning I got up, I did a little er a few errands, went to Walmart and stuff, and I wanted to talk to my friend Angel. So I went to the Walmart parking lot and there was like a Walmart and then there was a Ross and the parking lot was huge. And like I was the furthest spot back, like on the Ross side and I was just sitting there in a space surrounded by nobody, just talking. So this guy in a navy blue Mercedes comes and parks like maybe four spots over from me, which is already suspicious because I was in the middle of the parking lot of nowhere. And so I was just like talking, talking, I look over and he's just like staring over at my car. Now I have tinted windows, but still, I don't know, like when the sun is shining, sometimes you can see in a little bit. So then he pulls off and he goes, and I see him like driving around the parking lot, just kind of like going in circles. And I'm like, what is this dude doing? So I just kept talking. And then he circles back around and comes closer to my car with his car and just parks and just stares at my car. I was like, okay. And so I just go to like the Walmart side and I go like around other cars, but like still a little bit back. And then he like literally comes back from the Ross side, which is like a whole nother parking lot and comes over and like parks right next to me again. So now I know this guy is legitimately stalking me. And he just kept like staring at me, just like driving by and just like, I'm like, does this guy think I'm somebody he knows or is he think that I'm a prostitute or is he just like trying to sell drugs or is he trying to get me in like human trafficking I don't know I was like this dude is creeping me out then I was just like telling my friend this guy is actually like stalking me she goes get out of there like leave 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 so I waited for him to like loop around again and he like went the other way on the parking lot and then I just booked it out of there and like just left the whole area altogether. And I just like kept looking in my rear view mirror, just like making sure that he didn't follow me out of there. But like, that was scary. All right, so I decided to get my day going and then I went into the Planet Fitness in Miami and it was super nice. I've been to a lot of Planet Fitnesses by now because I shower there. And this is the first time I've seen a Planet Fitness that had glass shower doors. So I was excited to go in there because it was like, it felt like more of a private shower. So I go in, I turn on the faucet and they had like the rain shower. I turn it on and the drizzle is just so weak. It was like being in a light rain, not like a substantial downpour, which you want when you have long hair and you need to clean shampoo out of it. Man, y'all fooled me. You win some, you lose some. I woke up this morning and got my shower just right now. So my hair is crazy. It's drying and it's very humid. As I talk to you, I'm going to put my makeup on, which takes usually about three minutes because I'm low key I'm here going here it's just like powder blush and mascara sometimes I I get crazy and I use some eyeshadow so all these girls with like full-on palettes of palettes of palettes and palettes and all these other palettes I'm like what are you doing with all that stuff like I know because I watch some of those videos and they always look good like my friend Lee Shalicious check out her channel her name's Alicia but her channel is Lee Shalicious she always does such great makeup and I'm like, oh, I want her to do my makeup. But for now, I just do mine basic. I don't even contour any of that. 
And yes, I have to do that with my mouth. I just, I don't know why. And that's it. I mean, you know, that's what it does. After I got my shower, I looked up a laundromat because I'm at that point in my journey where a lot of my clothes are dirty. And there's a lot of good rated laundromats in Miami, which is great. But there was one that stood out to me. It's called El Tio Coin Laundry e Coffee Shop. So I think I'm in Little Havana, but I went in and all the machines are very clean. The price was okay. It was like $3.50 for a wash and I think it's like a dollar for a dry. And the greatest part about this place though, why I chose it is because they have one of those walk-up windows like you see in like Keeping Up with the Kardashians where Chloe just goes up and she's like addicted to Cordito. And so I was like, mm, yeah, I really want a good coffee and maybe if I can get a breakfast. I walked up and I was like, I'd like to have a coffee with condensed milk because I thought that's what Cordito was. Basically, I just typed, I want sweet coffee and she's like, yeah, I got it. So then she like whipped it up and I got it. And it is delicious. Whatever she did to this, legit. She knew what I was talking about. Sweetness translates in all languages. I'm not that hungry. And then I noticed the empanadas and then I was like, how much are these? And she's like, a dollar. And I was like, a dollar, that's amazing. And she has beef and chicken. So I got the chicken one and it was delicious. That chicken inside was so moist, tender. It's like such good chicken that you would get in like in a taco in like a nice restaurant. For it being like a laundromat empanada, I was impressed and this coffee is good so my breakfast total was three dollars and my laundry's working it out so what more can you ask for after this i'm going to drive over to south beach because i just want to see it and if the parking is not too atrocious i might get out and check it out i think i have like 20 more minutes on my dryer and then i can get my stuff and go so i got to south beach and i drove all the way down and it was very busy so I circled around and then when I circled back, I found like one of the first spots become available. So it's metered parking, so you gotta pay. And I just walked along the beach and it was very pretty. Just a wonderful beach. But what was really exciting is that they were setting up like all these things for the Super Bowl. And it was really cool just to see, like a lot of things were roped off, but you could kind of go in there and see them building the sets and just all the workers just putting things together they had a ferris wheel it was really cool like these were the stages for people that were doing commentating and it was just like really exciting to be there there was like kind of a buzz there i mean south beach always has like a good reputation i think but just because the super bowl stuff was happening it was just kind of an extra little excitement in the air so i walked around a lot took a lot of pictures and videos and then I think I walked down a little too far because I was just excited to see all the things and then I was like here we go again now I have to book it back to my car because these people are not joking in the South Florida areas like they will tow your car so I was walking like speed walking again and I saw them towing a car off of a metered spot and I was like oh dang like I gotta get it going so I got there in time I got in my car I jumped back on the road and I was feeling extra vibey. I was feeling like, you know, it's Miami. So I don't share this a lot on this on the videos, but I listen to a lot of podcasts and not as much music anymore. But this day I was feeling, you know, feeling good. And so I put on a bunch of music. So I was just like feeling the vibes of Miami. And it was just nice to be able to have my little road trip music going. I'd love to share my road trip playlist with you guys. But since YouTube does like copyright strikes on videos that have popular music, I can't really like show you. If you're good at lip reading, you can maybe find out what songs I'm singing and put it in the comments. I'll be super impressed. Okay, so I was driving to Fort Lauderdale. It's not very far from Miami. I get there. I'm driving through and I'm like, is this it? Like, but there were some other things on my list for Fort Lauderdale. But at the same time, I was like, well, I could catch up on some of my time and get back. Do I stay or do I go? In the next video, you'll be able to see what I decide to do. Snack time. Snack time.